Hello everybody, it's me Huma. It's RX7 FC review for you. It's how I feel when I use FC against everything else. Okay, steady Bart. Taking ballet doesn't make you any less of a man. <laughs> Alright girls, today we learn the dance of the fairy queens. You can either be a fairy or a queen. It's wide open. Uh, ah, and what have we here? A young man, maybe, who thinks he can be the next Baryshnikov? I don't want to be the next anything. I'm only taking this stupid class because they made me. So, he has fire in the belly. But it will take more than belly fire to be the next Baryshnikov. Look, Boris, I think ballet's for sissies. <laughs> ballet is for the strong, the fierce, the determined, but for the sissies, never. Now, put on this fussy attire. You are a fairy. Is something wrong, Mr. Simpson? I don't like wearing tights, ma'am. But so many of your heroes wear tights. Batman, for example. And Magellan. Look, I don't like this cootie platoon and I never will. I'm out of here and I'm out of this stupid outfit. Wait. Joy of movement increasing. Love of dance, impossible to resist. <gasps> Toes twinkling. Look at me, girls. I'm doing ballet. And I love it! So hopefully you get that meme. Because uh, I tried finding a good one and I didn't. So there you go. So on to the FC review. So pros and cons are on the screen. And the parameters. I rate this 4 out of 5. Uh, and with the versatility rating of 3.5. I'll explain that later. Let me start on the pros. This car is amazing. Uh, it is not as great as the FD, um, and certainly not as popular because the FD is, is such a crown and an amazing car. But uh, as I've said with the uh, Evo 8, I like this car more than the uh, FD, just because it's not a bandwagon car. Um, it does the same thing, it just, you know, is slightly worse in some respects. But I feel comfortable in this car. I am more comfortable in this car than the FD, just because I, I love how it feels. The handling is smooth. It is just an amazing car. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's got great top speed compared to Evos and, um, and WXs. It's great at all courses. No matter where you take this car, it is going to perform very well. Unlike, you know, some other cars like... Um, Let's say the 32, it might struggle in Hakone. This car thrives. If you take it to Yokohama, this car thrives. If you take it to, you know, Wangen, oh, not that great. But still, once it branches off, you, you're going to be in heaven. So, you know, that's what this car can offer. It's small. It is nice. It's not as long and absurd as a GDR. And it's not as fat as uh, an Aventador by comparison. But it is a great size to fit through cars. Um, one thing that I found with this car which makes me love it is the fact that it throws traffic left, right and center. I love the fact that I can get this car to do that. Um, a lot of cars struggle with that, but this I find um, is, is amazing for it. Um, so let's go on to cons. Uh, look, it's, it's a little bit on the, on the light side uh, comparatively, to, comparatively to the Evos and GDRs. But, you know, it's not that bad. Um, as you see here, it can handle itself very well. Um, but, you know, it's just a little lighter than you, what you want it to, to, um, to be. It's got slower than, uh, uh, it's got slower times than the FD and the RX-8. Not by much, but still a little bit significant if you're really nitpicky. Um, it's a five gear car, so it's a little difficult to handle in battles in terms of low speed blocking. Um, and it's mediocre acceleration means that, uh, after blocks, after big hits, and after, um, mistakes and corners, you're not going to gain as much acceleration as you would with an Evo or, you know, with an NFD. But it's still, it's still a great car. Those, those are, you know, very minor things when you compare, um, itself to other cars. Um, 2v2, um, you probably, this is a balanced car. This, this car is amazing. Just, I love this bit. Bam. It, it is not a massive blocker like a 32, it is not a runner like a 30, uh, not, not a runner like an FD, it is a good hybrid between the two. Um, although it is slower in some respects, I feel that this car is a very good, very balanced, well-rounded car, 
in terms of what it can do and what it can offer you as a driver in a battle and in a 2v2 situation. Um, of course the FD is you know, better you know, uh, by, our, I guess, by results, um, but that does not mean that this car is a bad car, it's, it's an amazing machine. I'd pick this car over the FD every day of the week just because it, it suits me. I like throwing traffic, you know, um, I don't like bandwagon cars and this car is just a, a separate machine that I think that everyone should at least try a couple of times or, or for a day or two. You're not going to get like amazing time attacks with it, but unless you're, you know, a world record or a top 10 hunter, BAM, you know, it's not going to matter. What really matters is, you know, how well of a driver that you become in your own car. And this car, I believe, will bring out the best in a lot of people. Um, if you don't like bandwagoning, uh, like I do. So, I mean, this car is amazing. Get one if you don't have an FD. Uh, it's an amazing car. Four out of five. Um, I rate it the Evo 8 out of the you know, Mazda series. So, look, that's my review. Take it or leave it. Um, but until next time, guys, John Air, look out for the Evo 9 tutorial. Ah!